Hey YouTube, Joel here. How are we doing? Today we are going to be doing a um, VR test of the Phantom 4 drone. So we have an app that allows us to do VR mode on the Phantom 4. It's really cool. I'll leave a link in the description of the app that we're going to be using and everything else that we're going to be using today. Um, yeah, VR test. It's going to be sick. I've not used it yet. It's going to be awesome. Um, then we're also going to use the follow me track mode. We're going to do an extensive review. Try and I'm going to go on the electric skateboard and try and lose the Phantom 4 drones uh, active track and it's going to be following me around the little place that I live here um, I'm back home home with my parents for the weekend um, but yeah stay tuned remember to slack the like button if you like it subscribe and also don't forget to activate the new notifications thing because if you don't when I upload a video one of you will no longer be my subscriber thanks to YouTube's amazing algorithm so anyway remember to slack the like button thanks for watching and enjoy the video Okay. Right. So, you know that you can see on the drone right now, but when I move my head up and down, it actually moves the camera up and down. So it's down, and then up, and then down, and then up. Oh, I can see the propellers as well. That's awesome. So what I can see now, I can see kind of like there's there's text just here and it's like, I think it's altitude distance from me the speed G which is 13 whatever that is and then battery which is 80 98 percent and I have some like green arrow thing which I don't really know what that corresponds to but um just take it off So right now I'm like 30 meters away from us at an altitude of seven and a half meters. So I'm going to take that up a bit more. No, I can't really make out where we are. Oh, okay. There we are. There we are. All right, so I'm going to hone in on us now. <laughs> this is still crazy. So surreal. So, I. It's just bizarre to be looking at this in first person. And it works so well as well. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Point out it. Point out it, like it was good. Oh, I did. I did. I point miles away. Okay, so there. Oh, it is. Easy. Okay, it does look like. So, am I like missing it now? But it does kind of look like on the screen I'm roughly in the right direction. Oh, it's just so weird. Look. Look at that. So let's see if I can just how easy it is to keep those in view as we go down. Hey guys, how are we doing? From here on in, actually, we lost Osmo footage, but. I do want to show you a cool real thing right now. So as, I, as the footage is going on in the background right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a color saturation. So we're about 11 seconds into this chat. So let's go to 24 seconds. Look at that. How amazing is that color correction right there? Like this shot is incredible. Um, I couldn't get over it, actually. I just did this a minute ago. The blues are so blue. The greens are so green. The reds are so red. Um, and this is just all built in software and Final Cut Pro, so I would 100% use color correction if you have drone footage. The difference is amazing. Now, I did want to go back and correct it because just look at that skyline. 
because I think um, it's really important to, you know, kind of show some unedited version. But I wanted from here on in, seeing as I lost the footage anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys what it can look like um, if you want to color correct it. So let me know in the comments down below if you think this is better or does it look a bit artificial to you. Maybe it might do because I've now pointed it out, but I think by and large, you wouldn't really notice this if I did this from the start. Food for thought, anyway. Okay. Right. So, we are going to... I'm going to get on the skateboard. I'm going to ride around. We're going to put the drone into active track mode. And we're going to see if I can escape from the drone. First, we'll just give it a little test just around the corner just to see that everything's working kosher. And also, we don't crash like we did yesterday when we did this. Um, yeah, note on that. When you do an active track mode on the Phantom 4... Um, if there's something behind the drone, um, not the Phantom 4 Pro because it has back sensors now, but the new the, the Phantom 4 Standard Edition, um, that one doesn't have back sensors. So when it's tracking you, if you move towards it, it will move back and kind of wait for you to pivot around. So hopefully we'll be able to see this on the Osmo a little bit. Um, so yesterday when we were doing this, I didn't hear what my dad said. So I stepped forward, the drone went backwards into a tree. So luckily everything was fine, didn't break anything. And she pulled it out and off it went, but yeah, definitely does happen so make sure you don't do that oh that perfect fan It's not recording. Okay. So, what do you think though? Are we going to start off, get it high? Yeah, well, track it and then get it high. Yeah. That's all we had to do, didn't we, yesterday? While we're here. Yeah, yeah, while we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a takeoff shot. Am I too close? So that bleeping sound is the drone saying there's something in front of me, I'm not happy taking off, so. He's got the best gimbal. <laughs> That's cool. Where's my skateboard? There it is. Okay, so this is going to be drone, active track versus skateboard getaway. Did this yesterday we lost all the footage unfortunately um so it's weird let me just say like it's going to stay there and it's going to hover and be near me the whole time when we're trying to escape Man, it's just freaking weird some technical difficulties right now we're good okay now we're going 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 take number six Take it nice and easy. Can you imagine if this was a paparazzi game right now? It would be. Oh, past the big tree. Okay, go past the big tree. Brings a whole new level to the uh, to the YouTube videos, though, doesn't it? I can get double. Don't lose me. Yeah, lost me. Is that on? Okay. All 
Okay, so let's just stop it right there for a second. As you can see, the active track has lost me twice already. Now let's just figure out why. So here I am on the first clip, skating along, and what happens is at this moment here, I enter the light beam, right? I then leave a light beam and go over the bobbly bits, right? And what the active track is actually doing is recognizing pixels on the screen. So let's just go back again. As far as it's concerned at the start here, I'm a black body with a purple cap, right? It just sees the pixels. It doesn't know that I'm there. It has no 3D mapping, no rendering software. Not yet anyway, that'll definitely probably be out in the future. Um, but as soon as I enter this light beam here, that pixel color changes. It then changes color again, and it just lose track of me because I slow down going over the bubbles and expects me to be there when I'm not. So let's look at the second clip, which is here. Um, it caught me back as soon as it came back. I'm about to set off a set off. I'm going through and then again, I enter another light beam and leave. And this time it's more evidence that it's the light beam that's causing the issue because it zooms in on that light beam. And it's that light beam that's changing the color, changing the pixels, and it's losing that recognition. How could this have been helped? I think maybe if I'd have took my jacket off because I had a red t-shirt underneath, I don't think black is the best color for it because that'll have the biggest change. If you wear something like red or green, I think it's going to be, maybe not green because of the grass, but red for sure. The top I actually had on would have been fine if I'd taken my jacket off, but it was freezing that day, so that's why I didn't do that. However, we did get a good clip, and that's coming up next. And that'll be really cool. Also, stick around for the end because we got a really, really good clip that went all the way through the estate and pretty much all the way back. Except the Osmo wasn't recording at the time. But you've still got the drone footage, so that's really cool. So stick around till the end. Thanks for watching again. Again. Huh? Oh, really? Whoa. Just picked me back up. <laughs> oh, fair, it seems to have got me again. Yeah, I'm trying to take like nice, small, curvy lines so it doesn't hit trees and stuff, but it is really dangerously close to trees on lampposts. Okay, it's higher than everything. I'm worried about the drone's safety. All right, catch me up, catch me up. Now we're going to turn. Okay, cool. Okay, so if I keep these type of lines, you should be good. Alright, it's a straight line now, I can't lose me now. Haha, <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay. Okay, you ready? You ready, John? You ready, John? On we go! Oh, let's keep it up. Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's catching me! definitely got me in its sights. It might have stopped. I think it stopped. I think it stopped. I think we won again. To be fair, this is a really built up area. I've never seen anyone do it in like a house in the state before. So. Okay, this time I'm going to let you guys get the front seat. Okay. The drone is behind us. This is the bumpy bit. <laughs> so we're going behind the house. Is it going to catch up? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to let it catch me. Okay. Come on. Come on, Dre.
Dad's taking it over. Well, I have to say, skateboard definitely wins. Um, Active track is really good. It's just not designed for this built-up area, I guess. But you know, it did, we did some really cool shots there. Hopefully, you've seen some of them by now. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to smack the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and do the second subscription thing, which is the little notification bell thing. Bell me, yeah, give me a bell. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out. Hey guys, as promised, this is the clip of me riding through the estate and because there's no sound, because the drone footage doesn't record sound, because um, all you get is as you can hear in the Osmo sometimes, this is it. So this was the best one that we did. And as you can see, I started right up at the top, went over the bumpy bits um, and rode through quite a few light beams. Like there's one coming up here. The only thing I can think of why it got me this time is because it was a lot higher up and at a shallower angle. So as you can see, it's like more on top of me the whole time. I actually almost got run over by a car just then. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was a really good one. This one really worked well. I did some nice sweeping angles and it really caught up with me. I powered it at some points and it kept up fine. It was like right on top of me at some points as well, like this bit. But it was, yeah, it was really, really cool. And it's such a weird sensation having that drone like just behind you. Um, like it, it, it feels, I can't really describe it. Like if it was like a paparazzi thing, it would just be, I can just imagine certain celebrities like being followed by these in the future. Just here actually, it loses me. Um, well, it's already lost me, I should say. Um, I, I'm really not sure why, I just wanna watch that again. Let's see, maybe it's a change in pixel color again. I, I mean, do you see what I mean? It's, it's very difficult. Um, the light isn't helping, my clothing isn't helping. You think I, I'm pretty similar-ish color to the tarmac, so it, you know I'm not surprised it lost me every now and then. But that was another pretty good run. Um, as always, there's going to be some bloopers and shenanigans and clips at the end. But this is now finally the official end of the video, but always stick around for the bloopers. Thank you for watching this video. If you've watched it this far, it's been a long-ass video. Thank you. I'm like 19 minutes in probably by now. Um, thank you for watching subscribe notify all that jazz till next time finally until next time hey youtube joel here how are we doing today or we are we gonna uh, just need to sort the microphone out roughly like that. No, it's not following, so he hasn't got me. I think what he meant was, he tracked me, but didn't click go. So you have to click go, and he always forgets. Look at this sky. It's disgustingly pretty today. <laughs> Wait, let me take a selfie. Oh gosh, it's close to everything. I think it almost hit that lamppost. I can't see it. Ah! The sun is so bright.